yeah, that's still knockout, knockout sister. sister. Yeah, and this refers mm. to a boxing club. Uh, with a difference up in Newcastle, here's Maureen Big. In the UK, around a third of all people who box are female. For some of these women, the fight has not just been in the ring. Here in Newcastle, an all-female boxing club has been set up called Knockout Sister. This group has allowed Muslim women of all ages to get fit, boost confidence and learn self-defence. Bigger show, there's been a rise in hostility towards Muslim women in the last few years. So Aisha Azam's family have actively encouraged her to take up boxing. I'm a Muslim woman, but I think people don't always associate me with being a Muslim woman mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I don't wear a hijab. And you do. So do you think now Muslim women need to learn self-defense more than they had to previously? Absolutely. There's so much more hate crime now. And wearing a headscarf, hijab, it's sort of we're in the spot like you know, okay, straight away she's a Muslim. Yeah. So I'm always put in a situation where possibly it could it happen could to happen. me. And no, my parents don't want me to be vulnerable and, you know, put myself in a situation where I won't be able to protect myself, yeah. defend myself. So, yeah, it is important for us Muslim women to learn how to box. Aisha's sister, Hira, works as a local pharmacist and she took up boxing following an incident at work. The methadone patient had missed his dose for three consecutive days. He could not remember that and I had to refuse dose and he didn't like that, basically, so he... he displayed threatening behaviour towards me. So that made me think that I do need to learn something that requires self-defence. Okay. Um, so I heard about this class, about Knockout Sisters, and that was it. Samar Asamoa has been coming here for six months. She wears the niqab when out in public. I noticed there were loads of non-Muslim women here as well, and I guess they just feel more comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it's open for all women, you know, it's not just Muslim women specifically, and, um, you know, I don't cover when I'm, wear when I'm doing my training yeah. sessions as well, so it's, it's good that it can come and, you know, you wear what you feel comfortable in yeah. to work out. Samar has encouraged her daughter Sumaya to come along and get involved with the club, and she thinks no one should stop Muslim women from having this opportunity. Muslim men who are discouraging their wives for, you know, any female relative of his into going into sports, I'd ask if he's afraid. <laughs> That's what I would ask. Like, what are you afraid of? Seriously. I mean, contact sports has got a benefit. You can defend yourself. The physical fitness aspect is there as well. You know, it's good to keep fit and healthy. You know, and that's part of Islam as well, maintaining a good, um, you know, physical fitness, physical fitness looking after yeah. your body, you know, as well as your, you know, your soul and your mind. So it's, it's all round. With all women boxing and sports clubs like this one found around the country, it should give Muslim women the possibility and opportunity to both integrate and participate without compromising their religion. Being here today and seeing these women enriching their lives in such a positive manner is truly inspiring. In a world where we are rarely given glimpses of Muslim women in sporting capacities, clubs like this are helping to strip away negative opinions and misconceptions. It seems the future for Muslim sportswomen can only get better.